Hello, this is Sumundi from International Christian University. Now uh, we know how to uh, use interval TS uh, to annotate uh, information onto a sound file. And in the last video, uh, we learned the difference between interval tiers and point tiers, as well as how to create and remove boundaries. Let's say you want to create new tiers. What can you do? Mm. In the uh, earlier video, uh, you, we use directly uh, the prod object option here in order to create a new, uh, new text script. Right. This was the option sound annotate to text script. However, if you already have uh, this uh, sound file with certain number of text tiers in a text script file, can we actually create more boundaries or tiers? Yes. And the answer is yes, you can. Uh, and if you look at the menu up here, you see a tier menu and there are multiple things that you can do. So you can add an interval tier, you can add a point tier. Interestingly, you can also duplicate tiers. You can rename the tier. You can also remove tiers, right? Uh, so you can remove all text from the tier. That means the boundary is going to be staying. Uh, or you can remove the entire tier. So let me uh, duplicate a tier first duplicate. If I click duplicate, uh, by default, it gives you the last position, uh, three, uh, position three. But uh, let me say that uh, I want to create a tier between one and two. Then if I create it between one and two, that means that uh, the newly created tier should be the second in the second position. So let me write it a second and name it as IPA. And I will apply this time. Remember, OK will close the window, duplicate tier window, uh, uh, but apply will make it stay. So let me apply. And now what you can see here is there is a second tier being created and it's named IPA. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's say I want to create another tier called uh, vowel. Again, uh, between the first and the second tier. You can also create it in the any position you want to do, but I will do it. And this time I will click OK. And this time what you can see is the vowel tier is created, but the dialog box is gone. So good. Now we duplicate it. However, what you realize is like, hmm, I didn't really want to duplicate it uh, uh, because I have to rewrite the information. So in those cases, let's say I want to uh, delete uh, the tier, especially the second tier. There are two things you can do. One is uh, if you want to keep the boundary, you can remove all text from tier. Remember, this function uh, applies to the tier that sits highlighted. And now we highlighted the second tier. That means remove all text from tier will remove all the text from the second tier. So I'm removing it and it's gone, right? You can also delete the whole tier. And again, the highlighted tier will be deleted and let's remove the entire tier and voila, it's being removed, right? So <clears throat> let's try again in the IPA tier, removing all text from the tier. And now all the text is gone. And at that point, uh, let's say I wanna add the IPA uh, of the word bead. And here I wanna play first to make sure this word is indeed bead and you click the duration bar bead and the IPA would be this bead right and for the second one bid 
and the IPA would be B and the high front vowel, but the legs one uh, should be selected. And if you go to the right side, there are lots of IPA symbols and we find it in the third row around seventh symbol from the left. You type it and you can see the IPA symbol being introduced and you type D. Bid. Bid. And now let's look at the upper left. And uh, here we see the bid being typed. Bid. Bid. So at the moment, what we learned is uh, how to create, duplicate, or remove information from a tier or remove the tier altogether. And we also uh, learned how to write IPA symbols using the word bid, uh, right? Uh, insert IPA symbols into our annotation. So that's it for this video.